Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Sony's making huge strides these days. Lots of great new cameras coming out. The Sony a7 III is a fantastic example of that. We have a viewer writing in wondering what to buy. Uh, and he's looking at staying in the Sony camp, but two options here. Uh, the heading of the email is new a7 Mark III or a7R Mark II. So it's Thomas writing in. He says, hey, Matt, I'm in a spot here. I'm going to buy a uh, Sony full frame, but now I can't decide whether to buy a new a7 Mark III with a kit lens or a used a7R Mark II and a nice piece of glass. Here in Sweden, the price uh, between the two are similar. I'm just a hobby photographer, no particular preferences. But if I have to choose, I guess it has to be street and landscape that interests me most. Can you uh, give me some advice? Love your reviews, and I think your advices on YouTube are well thought through and really useful. Best regards uh, from Tom in Sweden. Well, thanks very much for your question. Uh, my immediate thought is I would probably go with the A7R2 with glass, I think. <laughs> and I know that's not helpful to throw that in there, but uh, the A7R2 has more megapixels, so you're getting uh, a more powerful file. Plus, you're spending the extra money on some good glass. And a lot of times, it's better to invest the money with some good glass than all into the camera up front, and you don't have decent glass with it. You're going to be better off probably with the A7R2, uh, the better resolution, and the better glass than you are with the A7 III and, and not as good glass. Now, that said, the A7 III has video improvements, but you don't mention how important video is to you. Uh, if it is, if video is an important factor, then you may wish to consider the a7 III. You also kind of have to decide megapixels or video here, really. Uh, do you need the extra resolution? Would you like the extra resolution? Because obviously there's an advantage there in the a7R2's resolution. So uh, it kind of comes down to that. There are a few video tweaks and advancements in the a7 III which are very nice. The a7 III is one of the nicest all-round offerings right now. And for a lot of people, 24 megapixels will be plenty. Uh, I know my good friend Peter Gregg has the a7 III now and he's really liking it. So it's just going to come down to that. Uh, there's definitely an advantage to the higher resolution sensor in a lot of photography situations. There's going to be an advantage in you spending your money on better glass. You're going to get more uh, image quality out of whatever you're shooting with that way. But how important is video? Throw it back to the viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me on these are the reasons why you should consider the a7 III with the kit lens versus the a7R II with a nicer lens? What would you do? Uh, which way would you go? Let us know in the comments below which way you'd go and why. Is there another option you'd throw in? Now let's help out Thomas. Always great to hear your feedback when our viewers are writing in. Helps them make their decisions when they get a few different ways to look at things. Thanks for your question, Thomas. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.